Hi everybody, another quick video. So if you've been on my website lately, then you will see that um, I have added a new tab on my website for motivational speaking. And so uh, motivational speaking has always been a goal of mine since I was in like middle school, high school, because I would always go to all these uh, summer camps and things and they would have all these great motivational speakers who would encourage us as kids and it was so helpful. And I've always wanted to do it too. And so now I think I'm at a point where I can do that now because I'm working from home and I have uh, a little bit more time, like two hours out of my day that I don't have to commute anymore that I could use to dedicate to motivational speaking. Um, my plan is to start out locally um, and, you know, to get my name out there and to get some practice in and I plan on joining Toastmasters because if you watch my videos enough then you will know that I say um a lot and I say and things like that a lot and so I really want to just work on my speech and I want to encourage and motivate people specifically the youth my target area or target populations would be people who are survivors of domestic violence first generation college students people who have uh, endured and overcome homelessness things like that and <laughs> I just want to uh, be just motivational to people I have been asked to speak at uh, classes for college classes um, human services and topics in that kind of area and I guess that's where my start will be. I have been invited back to my undergrad college to talk to current first generation college students about my path to uh, graduation and my career and things that I'm doing now. So I think that this has really inspired me, especially being on YouTube and being helpful to a lot of people. I've gotten a lot of good feedback from a lot of people, a lot of emails, uh, just being thanking me for helping with the videos, uh, the free content. And so a lot of people go into motivational speaking to make thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's not my goal. My goal is to reach people specifically the youth because I haven't really been able to get a job working with the youth like I want to so I would I'm looking for alternate ways that I can do that uh, so right now I'm in healthcare doing medical social work care management uh, in an ambulatory outpatient setting which is the furthest thing away from helping children and teens and youth and things like that but I can make my own way and that's what I plan on doing so I am reaching out to you if you know of any summer camps and like I said I'm gonna start this in 2017 so I've been doing some research to find different opportunities and it's very hard to find opportunities and trying to get into it but um, if you know of any summer camps where you are I know we have uh, over 500 people subscribed to this channel so, and people are in different states and different regions and things like that. But if you, we're all social work professionals. So if you know of any opportunities, any summer camps, any organizations that cater to survivors of domestic violence, or if you work at a college or university uh, that has summer programs for, or trio programs for first generation college students, any kind of thing that you think I would be helpful for, I am reaching out and networking with you, my social work colleagues, and asking you to please uh, refer me or send me some information that you think may be helpful and uh, help me out. So um, hopefully this will be a start of something new that I can share with you all. And again, I am still looking for people to feature. So if you have a certain area of expertise, whether it is the difference between uh, uh, buying stocks and bonds and mutual funds and things like that, or if you know uh, all of the terms such for insurance, deductibles and co-pays and things like that, that a lot of us don't really know or that our clients don't really know or don't fully understand, please send me an email, reach out to me on my website, however you want to do it. Please, I'm trying to get information out to the public, uh, specifically our colleagues, so that we can get that information out to our clients and the people we serve. 
So again, I am looking for opportunities for motivational speaking. If there's something about the way that I talk that you think <laughs> that I can improve upon, please let me know. I welcome constructive criticism, uh, but please be positive and not negative, as I know some people can lean towards, maybe not intentionally, but um, be, just be tactful. And uh, I just thank you in advance, and I'll see you in the next video. I do need some suggestions on some new topics, so please send those as well. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends and colleagues uh, the day-to-day -day social work uh, channel on YouTube as well as my website, daytodaysocialwork.wix.com slash my site. And uh, let's do some networking and serve some people. All right, till next time, we'll see you later.